Hey guys, what is up? My name is Maddie and I'm an online health and fitness coach. I love helping women lose weight without all the stupid fad diets and everything that is trending, <laughs> unfortunately, right now. So I like to just give out the facts. And the question I get all the time from clients is about alcohol. <laughs> We're gonna talk about how alcohol affects your progress if you can drink alcohol while trying to lose weight and all of that kind of stuff. But before we hop in, if you like this sort of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that way you don't miss any more lessons because that's what we do here. We don't give myths, we give facts. And also really quick, feel free to comment down below all of the rumors that you've heard about mixing alcohol with weight loss. How many times have you been told that you are not allowed to drink, period? I'm very curious about this. <laughs> Cause I was told that a lot. So if you're wondering if it slows down your goals, the short answer unfortunately is yes, but there are several reasons for that, right? And the biggest one is just the fact that alcohol in itself is calories. <laughs> And most people don't realize how many calories they are consuming when they are drinking alcohol. A typical shot in itself is almost 100 calories. So when you are getting a alcohol plus a mixer, that just one drink is gonna be around, typically around 300 calories. When you are having a night where you are binge drinking, you're having more than two drinks, you're probably going to be drinking around a thousand calories. Three drinks at 300 calories each, 900 calories right there. Are you taking that into consideration when you are trying to lose weight? Not really. Most people don't count the calories of the drinks that they're consuming and if they are, they're very much underestimating the amount of calories that is in that drink. And not only does alcohol have a lot of calories, but it also has, or what they call empty calories, which basically just means that it has no macronutrient profile. So those calories that you're intaking don't provide any nutritional substance slash they don't meet any nutritional needs that you are trying to hit with your macronutrient goals if you are someone who is counting macros. And another just like little fact about alcohol, which most people <laughs> by now, if you're over the age of 21, probably are aware of, is that alcohol releases some inhibitions, right? It makes you a lot more susceptible to doing things that you might not normally do, which is very linked to food in most people's circumstances. So when you go out on a night of drinking, <laughs> What is something that most people typically do? They go and they get all the junk food afterwards to soak up all the alcohol. So not only are you drinking probably over a thousand calories in alcohol, but then you're going, and if you're like me, hitting up Taco Bell and you're getting way more food than you would usually eat, plus all the calories that are in that food. So on a night of binge drinking, you are probably having over a thousand calories in alcohol, having over a thousand calories in non-nutritional food for you. I don't know many people who <laughs> choose a salad <laughs> when they're drinking. And if you do, you're a psychopath, so stay away from me. <laughs> but alcohol also interferes with the body's fat burning mechanisms. So what happens when you do drink alcohol is that it takes priority over everything else in your body. Because essentially your body considers alcohol a toxin, right? <laughs> And I'm sure we've all heard this in our D.A.R.E. courses growing up. So when your liver is deciding what it's going to metabolize first, usually it's your fats, it's your carbs, it's your sugars, but because your body is trying to get rid of the toxins, aka the alcohol, the alcohol takes first priority. And this is what causes your fatty acids to build up inside your body. So when you're drinking, your body is metabolizing the alcohols first. So essentially you're just burning calories from alcohol. So you burn those first before you burn your fat stores. So to sum it all up, <laughs> while you are drinking, your body is not burning fat, it's just burning alcohol, which means that you are storing fat during this whole process, which is not good for fat loss. But 
that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't lose weight while you are someone who drinks, right? That just means you have to be smart about it. Because if you're like me, um, it's very unrealistic to just say, hey, um, you're on a weight loss journey for a couple months. That just means you have to cut out all alcohol in your life. I don't know about you, but I don't know a single month where there is not some sort of social event where people aren't drinking. And it's very unrealistic to tell someone to do that. I'm a social drinker. <laughs> And I would never tell my clients to do that. You got to live your life. Otherwise, your weight loss journey is just going to be miserable. And that's not realistic. So while we're giving you the facts on what alcohol does to your body while you're trying to lose weight, I'm also going to give you some tips <laughs> on how to be efficient with drinking and trying to lose weight. Generally speaking, and this is not for every single case in point, but the whole kingpin of trying to lose weight is essentially calories in, calories out, right? There's a lot more to it, which I go on deeper on later on my channel. But when you are taking alcohol into consideration, this is just another factor that we have to consider, right? So my first tip for you is to be very mindful of your mixers because most mixers <laughs> add over 100 calories and you don't even realize that you're doing it and half the time you don't even care what you're mixing it with am i right you're just like i just want a shot of something and you're gonna throw something in there to make it taste good so why don't we make it zero calories instead of over 100 calories make the shot taste good and you not even realize you're doing it hmm am i right I am. So, some good examples for this. If you're a plain Janer, soda water, that could never be me. <laughs> Squeeze a lime in there, a lemon, you're all set. Diet Coke. My personal favorite is like water with Crystal Light or Mio squeezed in there. That's like 15 calories and you're also getting water in there, so you're a hydrated drunk bitch. <laughs> Take those actual fruits, like strawberries, lemons, limes, blueberries, whatever it is that you fancy, and put those in there. That adds actual natural flavoring in there, and it's good for you. And then my second tip, if you are making drinks at home, actually measure it out, okay? I know for a fact that if you are making a drink at home, most of y'all are not measuring any of it, and you're just counting it as a shot or two shots when really you might be pouring like three or four, and that is, you know, 400 calories just in alcohol itself. So if you're trying to be mindful of how much you're drinking, actually measure everything out with your little bar kit, so that way you can get an accurate representation of how much you're actually intaking. It's the same thing with food, y'all. If you want to know how much you're eating, you gotta measure it out. If you wanna know how much you're drinking, say it with me. <laughs> You gotta measure it out. And if you're someone who, when you start drinking, you just don't stop, or you're like, you need something in your hand, if that makes sense, I got some more tips for you. So my first one, this also helps with the hangovers, is to always drink a glass of water in between every single alcoholic drink that you have. Number one, like I said, this is gonna help with the hangover the next day, because it's gonna keep you hydrated, but also, like if you're someone who as soon as you take one drink, somebody hands you another one, social pressure, trust me, I get it. You know, just grab a cup of water, put a lemon in there, it looks like you're drinking something and just take a sip of that for, you know, 10 minutes in between and it will help. It'll make you fuller. You're not gonna wanna drink as much. It really does help. I always tell people to avoid shots <laughs> as much as possible because if you're thinking about it, unless you're taking a straight shot, those shots, they don't do anything to you, right? Everyone's taken a lemon drop where you just shoot it back and it tastes like juice. That's essentially what it is. It's not even a full shot of alcohol. It's mostly mixers. The mixers are high in calorie anyway. So unless someone offers you a straight shot and you're really feeling like getting drunk or something like that, just avoid those to avoid the extra calories. And then, Avoid drinking on an empty stomach, which I actually, I used to do this in college all the time because I thought it would make me drunker faster. And you know, it does, but that also is what leads you to binge eat later on in the night. 
So if you eat a full and satisfying meal before you drink, then you're not gonna be as likely to binge eat after you drink with all the shitty foods <laughs> that you're going to throw up the next day, right? Your body's actually gonna have nutrients to help you avoid all of that later on. So be kind to yourself. And then my last tip is to just not drink multiple days in a row. Have it be for good occasions, right? So don't avoid drinking. If you're someone who likes to drink, do it. Because of how it affects the body's fat burning mechanisms, doing it for multiple days in a row is going to affect the fat storage rate, right? So if, you know, 4th of July is coming up, cool, wait until the 4th of July to drink and then take the next day off. <laughs> you know, it's really gonna help your body get back to its normal homeostasis, right? Really help you get back to actually burning fat instead of burning alcohol and storing fat. I really hope these tips were helpful. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Realistically, you should not be giving up your life on your weight loss journey. Your weight loss journey should be a very easy and natural thing to get into once you get used to the changes. If you're someone who drinks, realistically, you should not have to give up drinking. I have never given up drinking. <laughs> you shouldn't have to give it up if it's something you really like. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe and let me know what kind of tips you would like to see next week. As usual, I will be here next Friday and I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.